Robin, you've been a long-term interim CEO and a consultant. If you worked with CIOs in a huge range of environments, from being uh, looking after transformation as a CEO right through to, through to operations. Um, my question is, in, in what sort of context and situation did you feel that the CIO offered the most value and support to you? I guess there's a couple of, sort of fairly serious ones, but the one that springs to mind is the one in WH Smith Retail in the mid-90s, actually, where we had a legacy business and uh, we were suffering from lack of information, lack of efficiency, lack of product development, and an awful lot of that was built on very, very old uh, information technology. We hired an incredibly good sort of CIO who was fantastic at the diagnostic sort of phase of where we were at, identified for us how we could improve the business, but worked very, very closely in conjunction with the key operating parts of the business. He was living, breathing and sleeping with them half the time. So when solutions came to be proposed on the table, the job was, was half done. You know, there was no big sale about what was a massive, massive investment for the business and a massive business risk because it was the, you know, the business equivalent of a heart and lungs transplant. So, so this guy um, provided that wonderful diagnosis, provided some very uh, good solutions by involving everybody along the way. And then the, the last part, which was by no means the least, he did a superb job of supporting the implementation of it to minimise, and I don't think anybody from the outside would have noticed how much we actually did through that process. So, so at its core, the, the, the CIO had that kind of sense of analysis, the detail, but also the kind of the project management side yeah. that, that that's really helping. So, a question then: you, you were talking there about the, the 1990s. Do those skills still apply to the same degree now? Do, do CIOs need to be different now? Mm, no, m more so. Okay. I think uh, today's environment is even tougher. I mean than it was at that point. And I think the, the emphasis has to be more in the CIO as a business leader. I think that diagnostic, full understanding of the business, participate in innovation, particularly with all the other core departments, absolutely critical skill. And all the rest is, is today is almost taken for granted, you know, when it comes to it. But the big build is how do you get in to be that business leader, that business diagnosis, and work with the other functions inside the business to provide solutions which really, really add value. Robin, thank you very much. Cheers,